Hello everybody, welcome back to more RimWorld. Let us continue, slowly but surely, making the necessary adjustments to live on this horrible backwater planet. But things are working out pretty well, if I do say so myself. Very happy with how things are going. Uh, hey house, please continue to haul metal, my friend. I would appreciate it. He's just hauling away. Dude is just a hauling machine. It's all working out nicely for us. Happy about that. Uh, so we got some research going. I do want to build some tail tables, but I do want to make sure the floors are also smoothed out rather rather nicely. Uh, is that two? We could probably go one more wider if I really wanted to. Just kind of thinking about future plans of mining this area out. I mean, once we get a bigger air, a bigger colony, depending on how many people we get living here, uh, we're gonna need to make a bigger dining room and area, and this might end up becoming obsolete rather quickly. So uh, let's go ahead and do zone. Another stockpile zone right here. And this particular zone will be particularly only for uh, no rotten. No rotten food, no corpses. Only food, period. That's it. Food and that's it. Raw resources, I don't think count. Uh, food, no. So that's all that's going to be. Oh, that's it. That's it. No more. And then over here, we'll get some cooking going. But I want them to continue moving out all the metals first. And then I will let them do all that other stuff. So keep on smoothing out the stone. I want metals. Metals. Metals, bitch. Metals. Where you going, squirrel, you douche? You can't... You guys are all awful. No, can you please prioritize metals? Is he carrying metal right now? No, I need you to haul metal. Oh, he was. Oh, good. I'm glad a, a blight destroyed the crops. We should be fine on food, though. We have 365 food stored, presumably, that means. Maybe even more. So I think he's going in. He's like, bringing in food, bringing out metal. That's good. Good, Haywire. You're useful. So let's do decoration, then. Let's start getting some tables up so people aren't bitchy. Furniture. We want long wooden table. Well, we can only we only need one right now, I'd say. So we'll do it over here. And then a wooden stool. Perfect. People can eat here and be happy. Squirrel's doing some research. Good, he's much better at researching. Good, good, good. All right, you guys don't have to fucking sit on uh, the floor anymore. You can actually eat, eat indoors. It's wonderful. It's a beautiful thing. It's a revolution. Be excited about it. As I'm sure you will be. I'm, I'm tempted to put another battery in here. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and put more... Uh, let's put a butcher's table here. And a cook stove. Here. So they can do stuff. To make colonists work at tables, select the table and open the bills tab. Right, right, right. That's what we need to do. It needs power too, which is shitty. Um, hopefully this will be enough. Good. Hopefully. Let's also get a lamp in here. Lamp. Lamp! Where are you? I can never remember. Standing lamp. There you are. Power. Beautiful. So that should have some power now. Some lamps. Oh, beautiful. So you guys can cook some meals. Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's moods will be quite a bit worse. That's fucking lame. What? Mental break soon. Squirrel. The question is why, though. I mean, he's still... It's not showing it. Ah, uh, please don't have a freaking mental break. Go to bed, squirrel. Just sleep it off, bro. 
Psychic drone high. Okay. Really? 30 minus 36. Here's the problem. All but Min, I think, are males. No, I guess Friedman is a, ma a female. Uh, the hair threw me off, Friedman. So it's a 3 to 2 ratio. Oh, no. Dude, you can't. Oh, no. Can I do anything with him? Can I, like, arrest him? If I wanted to. Let's arrest him. Come on, dude. Gun turret cooling, always useful. Sorry, man. Ah, fuck. Friedman, can I arrest Bat? Arrest him. Uh, arrest, oh, arrest Hay House too. Oh no! Sorry if the the squirrel goes crazy. Oh, and he's fucking hurt. We'll go to him after. Right now, my unfortunately my concern. Get out of there! Oh, can you not? Could you just not? Ah, oh, God. This is awful. Squirrels just going bananas. Come on, man. I don't want it to fight yet, but I will. He's having psychotic thoughts. Okay. Is he dead? Really? You beat him to death? Ah! Uh, you beat him to death. That is just dumb. And they're just fighting each other. And they're just gonna beat each other to death. And suddenly the colony falls the fuck apart. Wow. Come on, bat. I should just be like, prisoner, prisoner, those are medical. <sighs> this is awful. May, Min, you got this. We have a dead body in here. Here they come. He's just gonna beat the fucking shit out of the door. Of course he is. Come on, here we go. Let's move you over a little bit. Bat, you were like... Uh, oh no, of course you beat her up. Of course you did. Just miss. We can come back from this. What the fuck is that? Does he have a gun? He's a Pila. The fuck is a Pila? Alright, we got one down. We'll capture you assholes. Oh no. Come on. Oh man. This colony is, is basically over due to some psychic drone thing. I wish I could confine them to their room or something. Fuck, 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 fuck. Run. Ah, oh, and there it goes. Welp. That was the colony. Are they shooting each other now? They just shoot her on? The fuck? Have decided to kidnap who they can and leave. While Friedman bleeds the fuck out and everybody else gets kidnapped. Well! Ain't that a kick in the balls. <laughs> and they set everything on fire before they go! <laughs> so, we had a psychic drone drive the males crazy uh, in an attempt to keep them under control. We put them in prison. Hopefully that was going to be enough. Unfortunately, they went crazy anyway because our group prison is a terrible idea when that happens. And during the chaos that was happening in here, uh, a tribe attacked, knocked everybody unconscious, and proceeded to kidnap who they could and then leave. 
Unless he burns to death. That looks like he'll live. Gunshots and burns. His left arm and his right eye got burned. He's just gonna bleed out. See ya, dude. More importantly, Friedman is gonna die right next to the corpse of Squirrel, who got beaten to death, mind you, who got punched and bruised so often, he just died. Friedman, I'm sorry. I wish there was something better I could do for you, but you got beaten to, the un to unconsciousness and now we're just going to slowly starve and bleed out. Good thing you're unconscious and ex in an extreme pain. What the hell is this thing? A pila? Is it like a harpoon thrower or something? Like, I don't understand. It's the weirdest thing. Look at this beautiful project. This beautiful project. We needed more turrets, I guess. Earlier defenses would have been useful. What a shitty way to go. And as the wildlife, as the, as wilderness just reclaims this place. And everything dies. What an un unfortunate way to go. Oh, well. Well, I can't even complain. Like, I could stop and be like, I'm going to stop the recording and start from my last save. But really, the insanity that caused the collapse of an otherwise pretty okay colony, especially my first time back after months, you can't, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's a sad way to go. We'll be back tomorrow. I know a shorter episode, but I don't want to start a brand new colony here because getting a colony started is a long time in and of itself. So I'll be back tomorrow with some more RimWorld episode whatever we're on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.